once again we are back with a new problem in this video we'll see a special case problem so the problem goes like this a regular hexagon of 30 mm side has a corner on the HP its surface is inclined at 45 degrees to HP and the diagonal through the corner which is on HP makes an angle of 30 degrees with VP draw its projection अब तक हमने जितना पिछला जो प्रॉब्लम देखा था उसमें जिक्र किया गया था कि the top view makes an angle with VP और with XY but here what is said the diagonal which is present on HP makes an angle of 30 degrees with VP that means what is given in the problem you have got surface inclination at 45 degrees and what is this 30 degrees with VP this is the true length the diagonal of the hexagon which is true length that is making 30 degrees so inclination with VP true length inclination in VP that what we have seen in the straight line so it is surface inclination ke baad aata hai aapka line ka inclination true length that is phi is 30 degrees with VP and the side of the hexagon is mentioned in the problem that is 30 mm so let us begin the problem so we have to ask few questions to oneself that the hexagon is at a corner on HP so we assume that the plane is kept in HP so the true shape is visible in the top view therefore we will begin with the top view so we we'll draw line XY which will be of a medium darker shade and side mentioned in the problem is 30 mm side so 30 mm you can always take a distance exact distance in a compass jitta hexagon ka side rahega utta hamara radius rahega circle ka so we take a suitable comfortable distance and with the lighter construction shade we draw a circle right we are interested in the hexagon not in the circle so circle is used for the construction part right so we draw the diagonal of the hexagon right corner is HP so uske liye plane ka orientation hamara aisa rahega right so we mark the points on the circle to get the hexagon so this is the construction normally used for obtaining the hexagon so let the arcs be short enough the plane can be made of darker shade the reason is we are interested in the plane the true shape of the plane that is the hexagon so this is how we get the hexagon now we can label it such as a b c D, E, and F. We need to get the projectors lighting up. So here you can make the use of roller scale to get parallel projectors let the projectors be light enough and this is the edge view which will be labeled as a dash p dash and f dash 
c dash e dash and d dash right so now the observer is somewhere over here is looking at the object from this direction so a b c d will be visible b ke piche f rahega aur c ke piche e rahega right so this is the edge view of the hexagon so hexagon is kept in or hp about this corner right so this is the condition that is mentioned in the problem we have solved it that way right now it says that it is inclined at 45 degrees to hp so take a suitable distance we mark a 45 degrees at 45 degrees you can mark up and draw a line right. so we'll transfer this edge view over here so you can pick up this length try to get the exact length place it over here and try and get the mark so this is a dash and d dash similarly as the figure is symmetric so this distance will be equal to this distance right so we can mark it over here from this end and other from this end right so this is point b dash f dash c dash and e dash and we'll get the projectors will give you the top view so this is the surface inclination at angle 45 degrees to hp right so surface inclination dene ke do teen tarike ek to ye jo corner hai iska opposite corner d d ka distance diya rahega hp ke itto upar hai तो उतने डिस्टेंस पे आप एक लोकस निकाल के ये डिस्टेंस कट करके आप ये लाइन निकाल सकते हो इस प्रॉब्लम में आपको सरफेस इंक्लिनेशन डायरेक्टली मेंशन है वो एक तरीका है या फिर दूसरा तरीका ऐसा होगा कि इसका जो सेकंड स्टेज का टॉप व्यू है उसका शेप दिया रहेगा उसके डायमेंशंस दे रहेंगे तो वो टॉप व्यू बना के आप इसका पोजिशनिंग निकाल सकते राइट सो दीज आर टू थ्री वेज थ्रू विच द सेकेंड स्टेज पोजिशनिंग और डिटेलिंग कैन बी मैंशन so we'll project the projectors projectors need to be parallel to one another so that we get exact points of the apparent shape that is the top view of the second stage right So this is how we obtain the points so locus f and e will fall on the same locus let the projectors be light enough and apply an uniform pressure on the pencil so that you get a continuous line of uniform thickness so a dash and a will give you a1 position you will have b1 c1 d1 position e1 and f1 position once connected we will get the top view so we get this view so here the observer is looking the surface from the top so this is the shape that is obtained and now the second part is said that the diagonal which is in hp this diagonal makes an angle of 30 degrees with vp right pichle problem mein humne kya kiya tha is figure ko reorient kiya tha 
बराबर अब इस फिगर को रियोडिन किया तो सीधा आपको बोला जा सकता है कि टॉप यू मेक्स एन एंगल द डायगोनल ऑफ द टॉप यू मेक्स एन एंगल अगर बोला गया तो सीधा ये डिस्टेंस उठा के आपको मार्क करना है थर्टी डिग्रीज पे बट हियर वॉट इज मैंशन द डायगोनल मेक्स एन एंगल सो दिस इज फॉर योर कन्फर्मेशन यू कैन मैंशन दिस इज वॉट दिस इज द ट्रू लेंथ ऑफ द डायगोनल एंड दिस इज द अपेरेंट लेंथ ऑफ द डायगोनल राइट अगर हमें प्रॉब्लम में बोला है कि टॉप यू मेक्स एन एंगल द डायगोनल का टॉप यू मेक्स एन एंगल तो ये फिगर सीधा आप थर्टी डिग्रीज पे रिओरेंट कर सकते हो लेकिन इस प्रॉब्लम में क्या बोला गया है द डायगोनल थ्रू द कॉर्नर विच इज ऑन एच पी मेक्स एन एंगल मतलब ये वाला डायगोनल क्या बना रहा है एंगल बना रहा है तो हमें ये लेंथ उठाना पड़ेगा थर्टी डिग्रीज पर डालना पड़ेगा लेकिन हमारा चैलेंज ये है कि उस लेंथ पे हमें ये लेंथ कट करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि फिगर तो ये बनेगा राइट right? क्योंकि ये हमारा प्रोपोगेशन है यहाँ पे हम प्रोग्रेस करके इस स्टेज तक आ गए ये हमारा प्रोजेक्शन यहाँ तक मिल गया इसके बाद हमें इंक्लिनेशन दिखाना है सो फॉर दैट व्हाट वी डू इज वी टेक अ सुटेबल डिस्टेंस कंफर्टेबल डिस्टेंस एंड वी मार्क अ लाइन एट थर्टी डिग्रीज सो वी हैव अ लाइन एट से थर्टी डिग्रीज सो लेट दिस बी अ कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन राइट हमें ये समझना बहुत ज़रूरी है कि ये जो लेंथ है थर्टी डिग्रीज राइट सो दिस इज विच लेंथ दिस इज फाइ बिकॉज दिस इज द लेंथ ऑफ ट्रू लेंथ ट्रू लेंथ विथ वी पी सो दैट इज फाइ दैट इज थर्टी डिग्रीज राइट सो इस पे हमें ये लेंथ मार्क करना है सो so यहाँ पे मैं अगर ए लेता हूँ और ये डिस्टेंस में यहाँ से पिकअप करता हूँ आल जस्ट पिकअप दिस लेंथ From and mark it over here, right? So this line continues somewhere over here. So this is very important procedure. This is the uh, the speciality of this problem, right? So now what we do is uh, this is A and this is D, right? So this length is marked over here. So this is my true length. I can say this is true length, right? Now on this length we want this length, apparent length. Why? Because this figure has to be reproduced over here. So that is the challenge. But we don't know the angle. We don't know the angle. That is angle beta. This is apparent length. This is top u length. When top u length makes an angle with V P, then it is beta. Beta is unknown to us. राइट right. अगर हमें ऐसा बोला जाता है कि टॉप यू डायगोनल मेक्स एन एंगल थर्टी डिग्रीज तो उस केस में वो जो एंगल दिया है वो एंगल बीटा दिया है तो उस केस में सीधा आप इस लेंथ को यहाँ पे रख के इस फिगर को बना सकते हो लेकिन ऐसा दिया नहीं है राइट right. सो so, हम क्या करते हैं यहाँ तक क्या है होप थिंग्स आर क्लियर सो फॉर सो गुड सो वी ड्रॉ लोकस लाइन फ्रॉम पॉइंट डी राइट हमने क्या किया एंगल पे लाइन को कट किया उस लाइन पे ये ट्रू लेंथ जो है ये हमने प्लेस किया और जो पॉइंट डी है वहाँ से एक लोकस लिया आफ्टर दिस नाउ वी पिक अप दिस अपेरेंट लेंथ राइट सो वी पिक अप दिस अपेरेंट लेंथ दैट इज द सेकंड स्टेज टॉप व्यू राइट एंड वी प्लेस द सेंटर ऑन ए एंड मार्क ऑन दिस लोकस राइट सो आई गेट अ न्यू लेंथ so this length is this will be point d1 and this is what apparent length once the apparent length is with you now this is this diagonal with you and now comfortably you can draw right so this is that angle you can say like this is 30 degrees and this is angle beta right so this is angle beta and this is angle phi which is 30 degrees right so now when we talk about reproducing the figure we have this length a1 d1 so we obtain this distance 
right so this is symmetric figure so this distance and this distance is same so I'll mark point over here and a point over here so I've got these two points so with the help of a protector right with the help of protector we can mark 90 similarly 90 over here right हमें basically क्या ये diagonal मिल रहा है apparent length का अभी ये जो projectors है ये diagonal को ये projectors perpendicular है तो perpendicular line बनाते हैं हम right so we'll draw perpendicular lines और इसी perpendicular line पे ये points रहेंगे अब ये जो figure है इस figure को हमने ऐसे tilt किया तो एक के बाद इधर आएगा F E D और यहाँ पे क्या B C right so इसके बाद की procedure is we take this distance or you can take this distance on this diagonal right so we take this distance of A so this distance is equal to distance of B1 distance of C1 and A1 right so what we can do is we can cut the points accordingly so after connecting all the points this figure will be reproduced over here so we'll project the points to get the projections with the help of roller scale getting the parallel lines we'll try and get the projectors right so starting with a A over here and then we have a B projector C will come till here as the angle changes this projector may overlap So this is A1 position and then we have B1 position you can see B1 dash A1 dash this will be C1 dash position D1 dash E1 dash and F1 dash so connecting the points will get you the projection so after connecting the points we get this projection so I hope the problem is clear to you thank you all of you and please do like share and comment in the section box thank you